Good afternoon everybody. It is Thursday afternoon. Just got home from work. Just got a finally got my shipment of uh, more strawberries. My bees are active. I hope they're not swarming again and leaving because I still haven't finished the blue bee boxes. Looks like that one's showing a little more activity though, so that's good. I'm still working on the bee boxes. Hopefully uh, they don't completely leave. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So yeah, I've got my, uh, I ordered a couple more strawberry uh, crowns. Hopefully they're all alive. Okay, I see some green on that one, so. So I'm soaking them in water for a little bit. And then I'm gonna plant them. But meanwhile, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna plant them with my blueberries again. I've already got, I've already got strawberries as you can see growing uh but i just noticed that this one is sending out runners as you can see that and this one's starting to leaf so i just kind of tucked this runner right into the ground right there and i hope i'm hoping this one will start growing roots and be a new plant i'm gonna wait until this one shows a little bit more leaves like this one and then i'll tuck it into the ground and i'm gonna check out my other blueberries I mean other strawberries to see if they're sending out any runners yes I see a runner uh, well this runner is not quite ready yet as you can see it's not ready yet I'll wait until the leaves open up a little bit before I put that in the ground but let's go check out the other ones to see if to see if they are shooting out any runners Okay, that's perfect. That one's got a runner, runner, runner right there. I will direct it this way and just wait until the leaves open up before I stick it in the ground. I don't see any other runners. This one is not, this one's barely got any leaves, but it's got a strawberry. I mean, you know what? I'm gonna pluck that and eat that. I haven't had a strawberry yet. Let's see, oh, I see a couple of runners on this one. Yeah, so a couple more days I will put them in the ground. I don't see any runners on that plant though. Ooh, I see tons of strawberries on this one, but not ready yet. And no runners. So the ever-bearing strawberries don't produce a ton of runners. Uh, I got I think they're June berries, uh, other strawberries on uh, in my main garden, and they uh, they produce like two strawberries and then nothing but runners after that. That's how I managed to turn uh, six strawberries into a couple hundred in one year because they just nothing but runners all year long, while they produce like a few strawberries a year. So yeah, that's why I got these ever bearing because I I want to get more strawberries as these start producing more runners I will just slowly eventually in between in between the blueberries I'm gonna try to get all all strawberries so that's what I'm gonna get with the ones that are soaking in the water I'm gonna plant them in between all of these let's see if this one's got any runners happening no that doesn't look like there's there are any runners yet on this one they could probably all use this, especially this one, you see, notice how the the leaves are really yellow. Could probably put a handful of uh, acidifier in this one and it'll probably help it out. It's, the pH is probably off on this ground here. Ugh. Okay. I think they've soaked long enough. I'm gonna go get strawberries and plant them. I better hurry up, it's starting to rain. So I've got 10, 10 crowns and I'm so I'm gonna put two in between each each berry. So I got them in the ground right there. I'm gonna go get the hose, water them, cover them up, get some fertilizer, and sprinkle fertilizer. I was at the other strawberry patch with Hannah. Hannah's inside now crying because she wants to eat all the strawberries. I'm trying to collect the strawberries. 
How many eggs? Uh, that is your next store. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six eggs. Woohoo! I didn't go to the dead turtle. Nope. I'm gonna go get strawberries. Woo, alright. So yeah, there's our there are tons of strawberries, but most of them are rotten. So I gotta pick and choose which ones are good. Go through them. We've had just absolutely insane amount of rain and just like last year, I lost almost all my strawberries here last year. One, because I didn't check up on it in, on time and two, and just too much, not enough time. So luckily I caught them and there's still a lot of green strawberries. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go through and see if I, what I could get. And I pretty much lost control of this strawberry patch. Uh, I planted six over here like three years ago now and they just <laughs> yeah it just woo, all the way all like to all the way to like all the way back there it's, it's all strawberry patch and and weeds and I haven't really maintained my strawberry patch very well and they're just starting to spread everywhere like invasively <laughs> I, I need to really try to That's the biggest strawberry we've ever had, but it's just rotten to the core. All right, that wasn't not much, but there's still a ton, still a lot of uh, white and green ones ripening. Uh, I gotta do. I just gotta check every day. Stop being lazy and, and let it uh, go rotten. I, I think I fed more to the chickens than than I got for our family, but. That's part of it, at least it didn't go to waste and not just sitting on the ground rotting away. There's, I mean, some got rot away, but I'm starting to get a little dizzy from not eating food. I'm going to go inside and try to eat something. Alright, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, afternoon. Just got back from the farmer's market. Another successful week at the farmer's. Of course, not as good as the very first day. We didn't, very first week, we sold out of almost everything. Uh, but this week, it's we sold out on two items, a sour, a pineapple sauerkraut and bread. But yeah, so it is looking good for us at the farmer's market. I wanna show you guys, I planted the strawberries yesterday and that one is looking pretty nice. It's pretty sure that's gonna do well, grow. Uh, yeah, that one's I'm pretty sure that one's gonna live and, and grow for sure. We also had just like 10 hours of rain non-stop, so it's, it's just wet out here. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to keep you guys updated on this one. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like it's rotting away. Same thing with that one right there and that one. Oh no, it's got some green right there. It's, this one's gonna be okay. That one's, the leaves are already starting to look like they're trying to open up. So that one's gonna be good. That one's got leaves poking up already. Same thing with that one, so those are gonna be good. Also got that one in the ground right there. That's gonna be nice. And look at that one. That one's the best one. <laughs> the leaves are already starting to open up. So, yeah, it's going to be good. There's a strawberry right there. Uh, yep, that looks like a good strawberry. I don't often get to eat any of the stuff I grow because Hannah and the kids eat most of it. But they're still at the farmer's market. I came home to get uh, the chores done. Oh, not gonna lie, that's really, really good. Homegrown strawberries. I've never done it. Please try some. All right, so yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm keeping an eye on. Hopefully, uh, the existing strawberries start shooting out runners, and I will be keeping a close eye on the runners. So I can put them in the ground and new strawberry plants grow. But for right now, I gotta go do my chores. 
the animals are probably hungry. Show you my progress on turning my... I have my plans on making this into a garden next year. I, I gotta get rid of this. But I've started collecting cardboard. But unfortunately I have kids and the rain. These things kind of fell apart and as you can see Hannah got to it and spread it all over the yard so I got to collect it and just throw it back over here. All right, I gotta go do chores. You guys see me do that a hundred times, so I won't bother you guys with the chores. So an update on my chickens, they're doing fantastic. I've got my first butchering next week and my first actual class I filled up with uh, students or that wants to learn how to butcher. I've got five people coming, which is awesome. So yeah, I, I kept my first, this will be my first time actually doing a class, the processing class. So I kept, kept, I kept it small and kind of local. Uh, probably in the future I will branch out more. Like kind of like a, why, kind of like how uh, Jason from Soda Land does it. Uh, so yeah, I'll be in the future, probably next year, I'll have emails and I'll let you guys know sooner if anyone else is interested in learning how to butcher chickens. So that'll be next week and I will for sure take you guys with me. So yeah, I'll show you guys what the chickens look like. Yes, it has been raining a lot. They look a little, little damp and muddy, but they are good sized chickens. They're from the looks of it, I'm pretty sure an average of five to six pounds, maybe seven. There's a couple of eight pounders in there for sure. If not in this batch, definitely in that batch. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not doing all 60 chickens this week. It's one, I'm gonna do a batch of 30 this week and another batch uh, the following week. Good morning, it's a foggy Saturday morning. Yeah, sorry I came to a brief stop yesterday, just I was trying to do the chickens, take you along, but then the family showed up on the farmer's market. So, I just kind of got distracted. Alright, look at the little piggies. Hello, good morning. Today I'm going to try to get, they is weaning. I'm a week behind on the weaning day, so I need to make get Lilu about all the way to the fourth paddock where the little tent paddock uh, shelter is. So I gotta get Lilu over there, and I have no idea how I'm gonna do that with the piglets always on her, always. That was a failed attempt. Uh, that was my mistake of throwing food on the floor before that I could distract the little ones long enough to get Lilu to follow me, but now Lilu is just bullying all the piglets for the food. Come on, Lilu. I swear, once they're trained on that wire, it's, 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 yeah, it's <laughs> so hard to get them to cross, no matter what. Come on, Lilo. Right here. Right here. Come on, right there. Right there. Right there. There you go. Come on, Lilo. Oh. Lilo, come on. 
But they have no problems crossing it. They have no problems, of course. Oh, well, maybe I should try to get the piglets out and keep Lilu in there, maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna close the gate, keep Lilu in the original paddock, and then I'll try to get the piglets all the way to that one. I don't know how well that's gonna work. Just, they just walk right through the right through the thing. I'm gonna go check on something. Yeah, I don't know. There was there were some sticks on the far side where the other pigs are. There were some sticks on the wire, but it shouldn't have been enough where it was drawing that much power. Maybe it was because that tree was touching it. I don't know. I'm gonna try again. See if, uh, if the pigs just come walking right through that fence again if, if that's the problem i'm gonna this weaning is gonna be really tough hey, yeah of, of, of course now they're not gonna come through here right or am i being stupid right now and just i should just carry them all the way to that one right yeah that's what i should be doing oh the only other one that has a shelter on it, I still gotta make all the shelters. All right. Okay, so this thing is still holding up. I know it looks janky and everything, but uh, I'll fluff up the straw, get some new straw in there, and all the piglets should be able to be should be able to live in there without any problems. All right, uh, before anybody <laughs> fills up my comment section about uh, I need to get a bigger charger, I don't have to, uh, it's, my charger is ready for 10 miles of fence. <laughs> it uh, holds up to nine joules. So yeah, it's, it, I think it was just because the branches and some other things, ho well, I'm hoping, I, no idea why. I mean, it's, I just put a test, the meter on it, it's hitting all the way up to the nine. I, I mean, it's hitting all the way up to the eight. So uh, I'm pretty sure it's hitting harder than that too. So yeah, I'm hoping it was because there were some branches sitting on the other electric fence that uh, zapping the power. So all right, I'm gonna quickly weed around the fence so there's nothing else robbing it of power, and uh, I'll carry the pigs over here and see how that goes. Uh, fact that they just ran across that fence I don't know hopefully uh, hopefully this works that looks pretty cozy in there for the little piglets for their first night away from mama and of course that's a big if if they stay in here all right I'm gonna electrify the fence and then Start carrying piglets over here. Yeah, it looks like the piglets have moved back with mama. Is this going to work? I don't know. I have no idea. Lilu, you want to... Do you want to come with me, Lilu? Huh? Come on, Lilu. Well, no, I wasn't expecting that. All right, let's see if I can get Lilu all the way to that fence. And all the way to that paddock. Come on, Lilu. Come on, girl. Come on, Lilu. Come on, girl. Come on. You can do it. Yeah, you can do it. Come on, girl. 
Well, that went surprisingly well, I guess. Pigs, I guess. All right, well, now I gotta worry about the piglets. I wonder if they're just gonna come charging through when they realize mama's not here. All right, it's been a solid hour since I separated Lilu from the piglets. And I can see Lilu's still down there. Um, let's see if I, any of the piglets have tried to make it over to her. No. Looks like... It looks like they have stayed in their paddock. So yeah. I think just in the frantic of feeding, the piglets were willing to go through the fence to get more food. All right, the mailman just showed up and delivered, oops, that's upside down, the little mole, vole trap. I only bought one. Let's go set it up and see if it does anything. Okay, so I haven't, oh yeah, I just, yeah, I lost. So yeah, I lost another plant, my tomato, I lost a cherry, tomato plant right there. Yeah, and looks like I lost another one and another one, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's getting pretty terrible, keep losing them. Oh. I might as well show you the... So this is the comfrey that I cut, cut down last week, uh, early this week. It's coming back pretty strong. Well, at least this one is, that one. There's a bunch, there are new leaves growing, so it's... I, I don't know, I'm not really worried about it anyways, but... Yeah, uh, let's see. One, two, three. Three plants I lost. Yeah, it's not fun. Okay, let's set up the plants. Let's set up a trap. And uh, see if it does anything. Okay. So you just pull it up and there's that little red things and just mole comes through. Poop. And just clamps down on them. Alright, I found the tunnel. It's way back there. So the tunnel goes from th this end, goes through there, so. Well, we'll see if uh, the catch is one. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up today. I'll keep you guys informed on how well the trap works. <laughs> At this point, I, I don't have high hopes for it. For it. Uh, I'm not really sure what, how I'm gonna be able to solve that problem. Someone mentioned putting juicy fruit into the holes and that's worked for them uh I, i've tried that uh, i'm still losing all my plants all right i'm gonna sign off from here my name is sang this is growing little country homestead thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one